Kyrgyzstan has marked the anniversary of the bloody 2010 revolution. People gathered at a memorial near the capital Bishkek to mark six years since the revolt, which overthrew the country's president, Kumanbek Bakiv. Belarus took in Bakiv after he fled in the aftermath of the bloody revolt, and Kyrgyzstan's new interim government said he will be charged with mass killing and formally prepared an extradition request. Bakiv has maintained Russia may have played a role in his overthrow. Officials say 87 people were killed and more than 1,000 wounded on April the 7th, 2010, when Bakiv ordered his special forces to shoot into angry crowds, storming government headquarters. One of the victim's mothers says, Our son is buried here. He was 25 on that day. He wasn't married. It is a great tragedy for us. That's why we gather here today. But I think it is a tragedy not only for us, but for the Kyrgyz people. Let this day be remembered by every Kyrgyz and the reasons of what happened. Subsequent Kyrgyz governments attempted to hold democratic elections and carry out economic and political reforms. But corruption, clan and ethnic tensions and economic crisis have made it a struggle for Bishkek to stamp its authority on the predominantly Muslim nation of 5.3 million people.